and welcome back to Conrad's Corner. This is U.S. Seasonal News Radio Talk Show. My name is Conrad Wilton. You're listening to www.kxsc.org and also uh, KXSC 1560 AM Los Angeles, U.S.C.'s only student radio station. It's my pleasure to be here, ladies and gentlemen, and present to you an interview that we did yesterday inside. I was absolutely thrilled, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely thrilled to have an opportunity to go to the CBS Studios, uh, the Artist Center, Walk through down the hall and all that, and you see the, the gorgeous Young and the Restless office. Let me tell you a little bit about the Young and the Restless, which is the office which where we conducted this interview with a writer from the soap opera. Now, the Young and the Restless is basically a, uh, it's a daytime drama. It's been the number one daytime drama for 22 years in a row, ladies and gentlemen. And this is nationwide, nationwide. Line R, which is what we like to call it, has compelled viewers since the early 70s, it was first aired in 1973, it is 38 years old. 38 years. It has been in the living rooms of millions, millions and millions of Americans and a very, very emotionally charged soap opera. And we went on the, uh, we didn't go on the show, that would be nice though, but we talked with Sarah Smith, who is the assistant to Maria Arena Bell, who is the head writer for The Young and the Restless. And Sarah Smith composed a couple storylines herself, and she talks to us regarding what's it like to actually compose a storyline that is particularly potent because it captures the Be the Match promotion. It's about donating bone marrow to save the lives of innocent individuals worldwide. And Sarah Smith came on Conrad's Corner yesterday, and here's what she had to say. Inside the CBS studios, I am alongside Sarah Smith, who is a writer for CBS soap opera, The Young and the Restless. Sarah, thank you for coming on Conrad's Corner. I'm happy to be here. And so we are here to talk about the Be The Match promotion, which I'm sure you're familiar with, with The uh, Young and the Restless. And how Be The Match, by the way, folks, just in case you don't know, Be The Match is a bone marrow drive a foundation that finds life-saving matches across the entire globe uh, for uh, folks who have leukemia and other uh, dreadful diseases. So it's an outstanding organization. And you, one of your jobs, I suppose, was to somehow incorporate Be The Match and the bone marrow situation into the YNR storyline. That's correct. Uh, we first came up with the idea for the story, and then which evolved out of an idea that we needed to keep Billy and Victoria apart. Right. And uh, their daughter getting leukemia played a dramatic uh, part of the story. Your daughter's name is Cordelia. Yes. Correct. And, and she's about seven years old. Yeah, she's like five. Five, six or so. Right. Uh, and so anyway, she became sick, and that's what brought Billy back to Genoa City. Right. So in doing that, then we decided we needed to get some medical research, so I contacted um, the bone marrow be a match people just to get some background information on the disease and how to incorporate it into the story. Interesting. So you contacted them at first? Yes. And through that, then we connected and did the PSA. Wow. And so how, what's the response thus far? Have people commented and things like that? I mean, you it's guys... It's actually pretty surprising. Um, I guess Be a Match has some statistics that say the first three days that the story aired that we did the PSAs, there was an increase of 24.6% uh, in traffic to the website. Wow. And we had two, at least two people try to do uh, set up... Sorry, let me say that again. That's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> We had at least two people that uh, requested to host a donor registry based on watching the segments. So it was a uh, pretty exciting. We have a very wide viewership, to say the least. So uh, I think uh, one of the reasons why I personally thought that YNR is a great choice for this, and perhaps any soap opera in this case, because it's a soap opera. And so one of my questions to you is that, I mean, it's already emotionally charged. Mm -hmm. So did this story with Cordelia sort of write itself, or did you really have to crank out uh, a real compelling story to make this promotion most effective? Uh, well, it always starts with the story first. So we were uh, more concerned with what is Billy's journey, what is Victoria's journey, and then folding in Cordelia's journey into that story. And so, yes, it did, it, you know, it was important to be accurate emotionally to the stakes of the characters. Right. As a soap opera writer, do you ever sort of incorporate any uh, emotionally, I mean, do you get emotional when you write some of these stories? Is, is there anything that reminds you of your own life? Uh, well, not so much in this story, but definitely you try and put yourself into each character's shoes as you're writing the scenes and trying to give a point of view that's accurate to each character, given their history and, you know, all that stuff. Interesting. So you put yourself in and not play it objective like news. That's how no. many of us are taught and say, stay out. Whatever you do, stay out. No, Don't. no, no. You have to, re you know, you may not agree with the character's point of view, like if you're, you know, step back from it, but uh, you have to 
you have to get into that point of view and understand it and write from that perspective. Do you feel that uh, Be The Match will be promoted again on YNR if things go really well? Uh, well, if we have another story that um, that where that would fit, of course, we you know they're fantastic to work with. They were really great with the research, very easy to ask questions and deal with, and they were great with the PSA. Have you guys promoted any other medical causes in the past, or to not? Be to, the, I don't you, you don't remember? Yeah, I remember, remember a couple of them were YNR, uh, but it's not it's not regularly. But it's it's interesting. Like I said, I mean the fact that I mean the people who watch YNR are emotionally charged, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, a lot of times, I'm not going to say that. Well, I will. Uh, it's daytime on television, so sometimes it's like the unemployment hour in some cases. And so there's some folks who sort of sit on the couch and take a look at this and like, whoa, I can save a life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And did that come to you when you were writing for this? Um, well, to be honest with you, that wasn't the focus of what we were trying to do, but we are thrilled that that is a byproduct. Yeah, a tremendous byproduct. I mean, certainly daytime is a, a, a genre that gets into people's homes five days a week in a way that you develop a relationship with um, the viewer unlike any other genre in any medium. So, and that relationship is pretty unique and you have more power sometimes than I think you realize you have. I, I think I agree with you and I think it's important to sort of sort of embody the situation. When you take a look at being the match online, it's like, oh, I can save a life. What are the chances, right? But when you take a look at this and you see how everyone in Genoa City, the town that this is, uh, takes place in, everyone, everyone, you know, regardless of their, you know, family feuds or whatever like that, they get tested and they try to see if they can save Cordelia's life. And there's a thousand other little girls out there, just like Cordelia, that are looking That's for right match and you know what it's really simple it's a swab inside your cheek it's not painful it's also not painful to give the donation it's a very you know pretty pretty simple procedure that you know most anybody can do and to be able to do that and save somebody's life is pretty amazing good way to end it thank you sarah for coming on the show thank you and there you have it. Thank you once again, Sarah Smith, for coming on Conrad's Corner. Really appreciate it. We definitely learned a lot, not just about the Be The Match promotion, but also a small little insight, very valuable insight as to what it's actually like to, to write for one of the most successful soap operas in all of the land of the United States of America. Young the Restless is, uh, has been touching the hearts of many for quite some time, including myself. I'm a very big fan, I'm not going to lie. And that's one of the reasons why I was so happy to actually get the chance to go in there and uh, just sort of see where the magic actually happens. It's an amazing place. It really is.